Low back pain, generally speaking, is not a good indication for um, epidural steroids. Um, I would say any type of uh, cervical or thoracic or lumbar radiculopathy is the indication for epidural injections. It needs to be um, of spinal origin where there is nerve root involvement. So that doesn't have to be a herniated disc, but any type of a um, stenotic process at the foramen, at the lateral recess, within the central canal that is producing radicular symptoms that has not uh, spontaneously resolved over several weeks and has not responded to conservative treatment with, um, with um, conservative treatment with anti-inflammatories, oral prednisone, and um, combination opioids uh, becomes a good indication for um, epidural steroid injections. Other things to ask the patient is pretty much get a good history so that you know where to inject, combine that with the imaging studies, um, and ask them pretty much what the nature of their pain is in the upper or lower extremity. Is it neuropathic dysesthetic in nature? Is it, is it mechanical and positional? And does it extend below the elbow or below the knee? Uh, is the pain greater in the back or in the lower extremity? All these are factors that can help you determine whether if the patient has radiculopathy. And if they do, there's a good chance that they will get some good meaningful benefit uh, from epidural injections that's going to enable them to get uh, effective physical therapy and treat the flare-up uh, inflammation that they're having.